Your DNA contains all the information needed to make your body. In this DNA are genes which code for vital proteins. But your genes are also full of gaps. These gaps, known as introns, are sections which don't code for proteins. But they're found scattered throughout all sorts of genes and in all sorts of creatures. So what exactly are introns for? That is an ongoing question. Imagine we want to translate the DNA in a particular gene into a protein. First, we need to make a copy of the gene in RNA. Like the original gene, this RNA sequence is still full of introns, and these need to be cut out before the RNA can be translated into a protein. This cutting, or splicing, is done by spliceosomes, which help snip the introns out and stick the remaining bits back together. This final spliced RNA sequence is what gets turned into proteins. But why bother with introns at all? All that extra transcribing and splicing takes energy, so why is it so common? One key benefit of RNA splicing is that you can rearrange sections of a gene in different ways. This means one gene can make multiple different proteins. Now, a lot of the time, the introns themselves get immediately degraded by the cell. But scientists have identified cases where the introns hang around. For example, some introns help protect DNA from damage, while others can speed up gene expression. Now, research on yeast cells has suggested a potential new function for introns. Making proteins takes a lot of energy. So when a cell is stressed or hungry, it may want to slow down protein production. One way of doing this is to slow down the splicing process. And it looks like introns themselves could be helping control splicing speed. When spliceosomes are slowed, there's less spliced RNA and fewer proteins can be made. In yeast, this kind of system might be helping cells control their growth and survive starvation. Whether something similar is going on in humans is yet to be seen. But as time goes by, introns are revealing more and more of their secrets. Helping us piece together a greater understanding of the incredible genetic complexity of life.